Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's power word is an amazing word, and that word is forgiveness. All of us have been in that situation where someone's done something wrong to us. Maybe they've hurt us, maybe they broke something that we owned, maybe they made fun of our names. And then later on they come back and they apologize and they say sorry. How do we react? What do we do when they come and they say sorry? Do we forgive them and forget what they did? Or do we just pretend to forgive them and say okay but really within our hearts we're still angry? Or do we just say no and refuse to forgive them no matter what? You see all of us make mistakes. And when we make mistakes and we feel sorry about something, we want those people to forgive us. And it's not just the mistakes that we make towards other people. But what Ramadan teaches us is that as Muslims, sometimes we sin and we disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do things that are wrong that as Muslims we shouldn't do. Maybe we lie, maybe we cheat, maybe we steal something or take something without seeking permission or asking someone first. All of these things, they are considered to be sins in Islam. And when we sin or we do something that's wrong, Islam tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us if we ask Allah for forgiveness. If we go to Allah and we say sorry and we ask Allah to forgive us, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do so. Allah azza wa jal says in the Quran, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Those people who when they do wrong, they commit a sin, they disobey Allah, they do something that they shouldn't have done, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're reminded of Allah, you remember Allah, why? Because you know in your heart, you know in your mind that what you did was wrong. And then Allah says, and then they are those people who then turn back to Allah and ask Allah for forgiveness. Asking Allah for forgiveness is like apologizing and saying sorry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We say, oh Allah, we're not going to do that again. We make a real sincere effort never to go back and do that mistake again. And we feel sorry for what we've done. And then we ask Allah to forgive us and we say Astaghfirullah and we make dua that Allah forgives our sins. Allah says that if you do this, Allah will forgive all of your sins. And there is no one more forgiving than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't hold grudges. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he forgives, he forgets everything that we did that was wrong. He doesn't just forgive one thing or two things, but if we seek forgiveness for all of the bad things that we did, Allah will forgive them all in a single moment. That is how amazing Allah's mercy is subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the greatest ways of taking that mercy or getting that mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal is when we forgive other people who have done wrong to us. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us in the Quran, أَلَا تُحِبُّونَ أَن يَغْفِرَ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ Don't you love that Allah should forgive you? Because we want Allah to forgive us, then that means that we should also forgive other people who have done wrong to us. So maybe there's a friend. Maybe there's a family member. Maybe you have a cousin or relative that they did something wrong to you or you did something wrong to them. And because of it, you haven't spoken to them in such a long time. You don't speak to them. You don't meet them anymore. They're not happy with you and they're no longer your friends. Ramadan is an amazing opportunity to go back and say sorry. Or if they're saying sorry, that you accept their apology and forgive them. You see, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us, not only does he forgive us for the mistakes that we made, he also rewards us because we asked him for forgiveness. And that is an amazing attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should also, when people ask us to forgive them, we should also show them our forgiveness. And I want want to leave you with this question. How many people will you forgive in this month of Ramadan? And who are you willing to forgive in this month of Ramadan? Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.